Welcome viewers new and old. This series is a follow-up to my Ocarina of Time Abridged. If you're new to my videos and haven't seen my Ocarina of Time Abridged, prepare to be horribly confused. Wait, you're leaving Hyrule? Of course I'm leaving! The forest is filled with idiot fairies, my psycho girlfriend is still lurking in the shadows, and your existence in this time period makes no chronological sense. Needless to say, I am a little bit uncomfortable with all this. Oh, quit exaggerating, it's not that bad. Alright, is every fairy ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Muffins, 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 mu
Epona's my horse. She's not just going to let anybody ride her away. Get me out of here! Hey! Epona, what the hell? Get that green bastard away from me! Ah! <clears throat> Damn it, Epona. And after all that abuse, you still betray me? I am so angry I could front flip up these steps. Whoa! Is that a giant hole to another world? What kind of Alice in Wonderland bullshit is this? And you're sure he's not gonna follow us down the hole? Of course not! No sane human being would risk plunging to their death for a flute! Are you sure? Of course I'm sure! I am an immortal god! Well, I guess I can't argue with- <coughs> Holy crap, he actually did it! Whoa! I'm alive? What the hell is this flower made of? Magic! Of course. Everyone's favorite cop-out is back with a vengeance. What in the name of me is wrong with you? What kind of psychopath recklessly jumps down a giant mysterious hole? The kind that wants his goddamn stuff back. All because I stole from you? I have a very strong sense of justice. What do you mean, sense of justice? I have a modified eye for an eye philosophy. You steal from me, and I poke your fucking eyes out. I still can't believe you'd risk your life for an ocarina. Dude, do you have any idea what you stole? That's the ocarina of time. So? So? I was gonna sell that shit for magic beans. You know how many kilos I could get for a legendary magical instrument? Wait, that's the ocarina of time? Why, with that kind of power in my hands, I could exterminate all life in Termina! Don't you already have the power to exterminate all life? Well, now I can exterminate all life twice as much! How does that even- Shut up, I'm evil! Excellent plan you got there, crazy talking demon mask. But there are just two little details you're overlooking. One, you have something I want. And two, this isn't the first time I've had to take down an evil overlord. Now, I don't care what kind of plans you have, or what you're trying to achieve, but until I get what I want, that shit ain't getting done. So I'm granting you this opportunity to just give me the ocarina, and walk away. You can accept my merciful offer, or learn a painful medical lesson in rectal sword removal. Fool! You dare address Majora with such arrogance? Mind slave! Attack him at once! Um, I don't want to. What? Why? Because he's mean. And scary. And I don't want a sword at my butt. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Great vessel you have there. Silence! Your personality may strike fear into this lesser being, but it does nothing of the sort to me! You think I'm afraid of you because you're a dick? I eat dicks for breakfast! Um... That didn't come out right. You know what I mean. You think this is the extent of my power? Oh, I can be a far more unlikable character. I gave you fair warning. Don't make me unleash my inner douche. Oh god, he can be even more of a douche? How is that even possible? Ha! Huh. A mere bluff. There is no level of douche the mighty Majora can't handle. <laughs> oh god, too much douche! Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Quick, magic, magic! Poof. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Wow, I guess magic really is the answer to everything. Oh god, I'm a wooden midget! <laughs> hey, hey, come on! Come on, stop it! Stop it! Stop laughing at me! Stop it! Hey! Hey! Hey, come on, man! Stop it! Ha! Huh, payback, bitch! Where's all of your power now, huh? Good luck stopping me in your current form. Come, slave! Let us leave this place! Wait, we're just going to leave him here? We're not going to kill him while he's weak and vulnerable? Of course! Why? Because that is what villains do! But couldn't he become a future threat? I am pretty sure he won't. Really? How can you tell? Because magic, that's how! Now shut up and follow my orders! Are you sure, Mask? I don't think leaving him here is a great idea. Yes it is! I never thought of it that way. Damn it, that better not become a running gag! Mission objective! Protect the mask wearer! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> We're still laughing at your expense! Hey sister! Not now, Tail, I'm busy! What happens if I press this button? Wait, what button? The A button! Wait, don't press- Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Damn it, Tail! Of all the times to break the fourth wall, why now? Okay, relax, Tattle. You're smart. You're good at making plans. You just need to come up with an intelligent way to get through this door. Must smash door with forehead! Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Please don't give yourself brain damage. The last thing I need right now is another retarded fairy. Just try to calm down. You're trapped in here with me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh god, let me out of here! Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. Well, actually, you have a right to be afraid. You don't understand. It's my brother. Every second I'm not watching him, something horrible could happen. Oh god, if something's already happened! Relax, they left like 30 seconds ago. How much trouble could they possibly get into in 30 seconds? Hey, Tail! Petal's been gone for 30 seconds! <gasps> 
Let's have a bleach drinking contest! I'll keep score! Now if you'll quit spazzing for like three seconds, I can open the door for you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. They're probably long gone by now. Oh, this is just horrible. How the hell do you think I feel? Now I can't masturbate without getting splinters. Can't you see how serious this is? Do you have any idea what it's like to live with a brain-damaged idiot? Actually, I- I don't have time for myself anymore. I've spent the last month of my life babysitting two morons and a demon with a god complex. Huh, sounds like you have a bigger idiot problem than I did. How did you cope with it? Well, let's see. This week, I was a secret agent. Last week, I was a space marine. And the week before that, I was an alien fighting scientist living in a post-apocalyptic dystopian future. Hmm, and not a single killing spree. Well, you certainly handled it better than I did. I just want to live a fulfilling life. I want to explore the world, do something grand, make some kind of meaningful contribution. But no, Tattle can't have her own life. Tattle has to be around in case Tail sets the forest on fire baking tree-flavored muffins. This is just a suggestion, but have you ever tried, you know, not giving a crap? I mean, it's done wonders for me. It's not that simple. Those two are trouble enough on their own, but with that mask telling Skull Kid what to do, who knows what could happen? Oh, but now they're gone, and I have no idea where they are, and now I'm going to have to go on some kind of crazy adventure to find them? Wait, I'll have to go on an adventure. A real adventure. <gasps> You're an adventurer! Oh god, it's enthusiastic. You still need your ocarina, right? We can team up and find them together. We'll be partners. Uh... Oh, this will be great. I can find my brother and satisfy my need for adventure. I won't have to kill myself. What? So it's settled then. We'll travel together. Wait, hold on. Don't I get any say in- Nope.